no, 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 don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Ah, all right, I'm on. Oh, yes, yes, we did it. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are finally back with Stormworks Creations. So, it's been a while since we've done one of these episodes. Normally, we're actually going out, doing a mission, sinking a ship, or doing something dumb in multiplayer. But today, we're going to be checking out and admiring some very awesome creations that I picked from the workshop. I will be kind of putting them to the test. I've got a couple ideas uh, with a couple of these creations and ways they can interact with each other. So what you're looking at here, this thing is a behemoth. I really hope I can actually fly it out of this hangar. It's called the TR-400. Uh, this is by G Tugs. This is like a tilt-a-rotor helicopter, I believe is what it's called. And this thing can haul around vehicles and it looks absolutely fantastic. So, we're going to start off here. The links are in the description. If you guys have any suggestions for Stormworks episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's check these creations out. You know, I have to admit, it's fairly intimidating being by something of this size. And uh, hoping that I'm not going to kill myself getting out of the hangar. So, this thing has a huge storage compartment in the back. I believe this ramp might even come down too. Uh, we could definitely store a vehicle back here. We got some parachutes. You know, you might want to get one of those on Komodo. It's probably going to be really messy. Oh, look at this. Okay, it's not a ramp. The aircraft itself nils. So, yeah, it's like a bus. That is pretty crazy. All right, let's go ahead and close that cargo door. All right, let's make our way up to the front. So, I do have a vehicle I would like to actually... What the heck is that? Should I be concerned by that? Is that it? Wait. What? Uh, what? Huh? Huh? I need to read the instructions again, because that, whatever's in that room confuses me a lot. All right, uh, let's get up here. All right, close that. Man, this is like a full-blown, like, command center you would see in a ship, except for this is a helicopter, and this is uh, quite scary. So let's go ahead. We're going to set the pilot seat here. Man, I don't know if I turned on damage or not. I have a feeling I did. Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, let's go ahead and unlock. There we go. All right, uh, we're ready for ignition. There should be a hover mode. Let's see. There's the tilts. There's your clutch, throttle. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm supposed to put the uh, APU on first, too. All right, so that's on. It should engage. Uh, maybe I do need to push in the clutch. Hold on. Let's go ahead and try to get a feel for what the controls are doing here. Okay. All right. I think I might be able to handle this. I really just want to pull it out of the hangar and load something into it. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. All right, she just cranked on me. All right, so she's fired up. I'm kind of going through and seeing how to what I need to do when as far as moving this thing. So I think if the clutch comes in, it's going to actually move the blades, which is good. So let's go ahead. Okay, wheel brakes, turn those off. Let's go ahead, roll that clutch up. Oh, man. Oh, feel the power of that. Oh, 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 no. Nope. We don't want to... Hold on. Actually, I got an idea. Okay. We want to roll these forward a little bit. That way I can try to roll out. Let's go 10%. There we go. Check that out. All right. I really just want to roll this out of the hangar. That way I can load up something in it. Uh, so let's just slowly roll it out. And as soon as we get out, I'm going to open up the cargo doors. I'll send these straight vertical again. Probably disengage the clutch. I don't know if I want to do that. I might just leave these running. Uh, but, yeah, this thing took a little bit for it to actually fire up. I think I was doing it wrong. Okay, we have cleared the hangar. Let's go ahead and put these back down to zero. It's going to apply the wheel brakes. I don't think there's enough throttle right now that it's not going to actually get off the ground yet, which is good. Now, there is a loadmaster station. I just now noticed this. Uh, this is for a crane that you can actually load up stuff with. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and open the door real quick. Uh, open it. All right, let's go and get the aircraft to kneel. How is it kneeling? Is it just the landing gears coming in a little bit? I'm assuming that's what it is. Hold on, actually, I don't want to close that. Let's go ahead and kneel it all the way real quick. All right, she's kneeled back. Check that out. All right, let's go grab a vehicle real quick. That way we can, uh, load one up and see what that looks like. All right, so I have the UAZ Hunter Off-Road. This is by Enzo. So, looks like we got a pretty neat little uh, off-road vehicle. Hopefully, it's not too tall. Whoa, that spawn. It just kind of threw it there. 
All right, so say we're gonna be delivering this vehicle to somebody. Let's see if we can get this thing to fire up here. Oh, look, this is actually using some of the new gauges. That's cool. All right, engine starter. We don't need a heater. There we go. Engine start. Parking brake. Is that really it? Just engine start, parking brake? Okay, let's turn that off. She's not gonna roll on me, is she? No, she's good. Dude, that's actually probably one of the most easy startups I've seen for an advanced car. Uh, okay. All right, so all we gotta do is pull it up in there. I don't know if we could secure the load. Uh, we might be able to hook up that mag all from the uh, Loadmaster and get it secured, but I'm not really sure. Let's just drive this up into here. That is sweet. Fits like a glove. All right, let's go and do that. All right, engage parking brake, engine off. Okay, she's looking good. Let's go ahead, get out of here. All right, I thought I had a light. Why is she, why are you still rolling on? You know what, I can prevent this. Close that, there we go. All right, let's go and get the nil done. Uh, I don't know why it's rolling a little bit. I guess we could try to secure it somewhere. Oh, you know, what? another thing I forgot to mention, I think this is actually for pickups. This front nose actually opens up, so I can go boom. Look at that, that that's incredible. So I think you would lower that winch to be able to pick people up. I uh, believe that's what it's for. I don't know if the, the creator watches my videos, maybe he or she could explain this. All right, APU's engaged. All right, uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, and you know what, we need, uh, let's go straight, straight vertical with those. So I think we can actually use the altitude lift to help us climb a little bit here. So let's go, boom, boom, goes up to 50. Ooh, ho, ho. all right. So how secure is that load in there? Is it moving around? I mean, it's about as secure as it's gonna get. I don't know why she's doing this though. Oh no, we got damage. That's why it's turning. Yeah, it was shaking so violently. It actually damaged the rear and it damaged one of the sections up there. Okay, well, that's probably not good. Uh, hold on, let's... Okay, let's... Oh, she's not flying right. Oh, Komodo, you screwed this up. Well, I mean, we proved it works. Like, you can load it up, she fires up. Uh, she probably handles like a dream here. But I believe I have screwed this up. So what we're going to do here, let's go 100. Since I have to reload this thing, let's go ahead and put that up there. All right, Komodo, we're gonna kinda, ooh, <laughs> she's turning. It's actually keeping my body to the right side. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, <laughs> this is so bad. I'm going to kill myself here. Uh, hold on, uh, can I get to the, can I get to the handle? It feels like we're tilting faster now. Oh, this feels like a horrible amusement ride right now. All right, we're gonna fix this situation, but first, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do some James Bond stuff if I can get to it. Come on, cargo door, cargo door, click. Uh oh, no, 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 I wanna be in the car. I wanna be in the car, okay. Come on, come out, no, no, no. Uh oh, I'm gonna get crushed here. Oh, 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 I wanna be in this, I wanna be, I wanna be in the car, no. <laughs> All right, you know, it's fine. It's fine, oh, that made a big hit. You know, we should probably turn God mode on with this. I have a feeling, there was a warning about this being experimental and sometimes it kind of breaks itself. And I have a feeling that is what just happened there. It wasn't really any fault of the creation. It was just, it broke itself because of just the way Stormworks is. And it, it really does shake pretty violent. So let's uh, go out of God mode. All right, here we are. APU's engaged. Everything should be good to go. Uh, she's starting to lift. So let's go ahead and set an altitude hold, I guess. I think I said the altitude holds only suggest it for just a straight hover mode. But hold on, let's just get up in the air. Yeah, I noticed that uh, the thing kind of freaks out, so... Ooh, okay, on, oh, try to recover it, Komodo. Like, I've seen some pictures, I'm sure everything works lovely. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, let it stabilize real quick. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not moving those things right now. Uh, ooh, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, what if we just went full with the tilt? Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, so going full blown with the tilt here. What is it doing? <laughs> It is, uh, it's banging its head right now. Now, like I said, it is a work in progress, so there's probably some bugs that need to be worked out, but, uh, I'm not sure if this is, <laughs> if this is one of them or what's going on here. Uh-oh, 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 why is it doing this? Why is it, why is it, I'm not doing this. Oh no, I'm gonna get dizzy really quick. Oh no, it feels like the game's speeding up. Uh, okay, <laughs> Wait, what? What? What's going on? Uh, 
Am I am I really on the outside of this thing right now? Or am I stuck in something? Oh no, oh no, I'm pressed against the window. Yep, this is about how my day's gone. You know, I didn't even try to screw anything up here today. Uh, it is, dude, yep, this is a sight. So my other plan, besides just to load this up with the vehicle, I wanted to try to fly something into it. Wait, did it just stabilize it? Look at this, it's moving, it's good. Is there something wrong with my copy of Stormworks? Look at that thing fly. They're all tilted forward now like it should be. I don't wonder if it's just maybe glitched out a little bit. Yeah, this is the second time it's done this, but check it out, folks. It does fly as long as Komodo's not actually at the, the helm here or or at the pilot's seat. It, it does great. Like, look at this. That's glorious looking, and it's so stable, too. Actually, we're going up. All right, this is not really the way I pictured that I was going to use this, but... Uh, definitely, I would check on this thing, you know, more it's updated, uh, maybe there is a little bit of a glitchiness to it, or maybe it could really just be on me, but very cool creation here. I, I think we probably better move on to the next one, though, because this isn't going to end well for me. Alright, so before I break anything else, this is actually by White Noise. This is called the Jelly. This is a, a flying creation. I, I really don't know how to explain this. Uh, he shared this through my Discord. I almost thought maybe it was a work-in-progress plane, but I realized this is it. This is the thing. What in the heck is going on here? All right, so... What, we just hop in and... Okay, this... Uh, this doesn't seem very safe. All right, so power... What? What? This is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in Stormworks. Why does it shake? Why does it have a smiley face on the front of it? What? <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh, there's stuff tucked up in it. Okay, I got you. All right. Let's go up, I guess. What in the heck is this? This might actually be the cutest thing I've ever seen in Stormworks. You know, this might be cuter than the seals beaching themselves. What? It's literally a pod. And it rolls kind of, I guess you could say, like a helicopter. I don't understand this creation. Uh, I do understand it's pretty awesome. I mean, look at that. Look at the view. This is neat. Hold on, is it... Okay, power generator. So it's keeping itself powered there, obviously. 100% battery. Uh, also using, I guess, some of the new uh, instruments here. Huh. I don't know what really to say about this. Oh, and how quickly... Ooh, that's, uh, I don't want to hit that. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just go straight up here. What the heck? This is uh, something I actually wanted to park inside of that uh, the last creation because I thought it'd be kind of cool looking. And I really do think with how stable this is, we definitely could have parked that inside of that. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. I just like how happy it looks. Is it called jelly because of the color? Or is it because the bottom kind of jiggles? Or... I'm not really sure. Oh, let's go ahead and let the uh, let's let the air in real quick. Yeah, there we go. That looks awesome. You know, I can just sit here and fly this forever. Like this is cool. So I'm assuming. Let's see, speed, altitude. Yeah, it is all battery operated. So I guess as long as it generates power, which I don't know how it's generating power. I don't think it's fuel. Yeah, that is a that's an odd creation. That is definitely the smallest like aircraft I've ever seen in Stormworks. Uh, definitely strange, but I, I do dig it. Uh, I don't know what you can do with it besides really just fly around, maybe get into tight spots. Uh, I don't think you're going to do any rescues. I guess you can put a seat on top of it or something if you wanted to rescue somebody, but a uh, very cool little creation here by White Noise. I do uh, actually really like that thing. Very, very awesome. All right, well, not much to say about this beyond it being very, very compact. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, so I got us a creation that we're going to check out here. This is a missile, a GPS missile by Doomsday. I believe it's the same person that created the boat we checked out not too long ago. And this thing's huge. Now, question is, can we... I kind of want to ride the missile. <laughs> can we do that? Uh, I don't think we can. All right, so extend, retract. Oh, okay. All right, how far does this railing go out? Oh, it's perfect. It actually gets it out of the hangar for you. I like that. All right, so I've already got a GPS coordinate in, which is really just the tanker, so let's go ahead and set that. All right, so enable... What's... What? What is that? Uh, oh. I don't know if I want to click that, Han. Huh? Enable. 
Okay. What does this mean? Uh-oh. Am I supposed to release this? Oh. Oh! Oh, that's how it works! Holy man! There it goes! <laughs> There it goes! Uh, it's a little wobbly. Now, it could have been because the botched takeoff there, but I really want to ride that. Like, it's going there. Look at that. Huh. Wait, so if I were to get on this... Okay, that disappears. What if I were to stay with it? Would it... I, it might actually disappear. I'm not really sure. Okay, this might be the stupidest thing I've ever attempted. I'm going to put a seat on it. It's probably going to throw it off balance, but... I don't really care. I want to actually try to fly with this. All right, so let's go boom. We'll just stand on this as it comes out. There we go. All right, put that in. Boom. So that lifts it up, which that's probably about where we want to be. We're really going to have to get up. Really? Okay, back to the drawing board. All right, let's do dumb things again. Let's go ahead. Whoop. All right, that should be good to go. Okay, am I going to be able to get up on the seat is the question. Okay, you can stop moving. All right, so if I were to go whoop. 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 Okay, I'm going to need to be close to this. Oh, hopefully I don't lose it. All right, three, two, one. Oh, no, 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 don't retract. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 what on? Let me on! Let me on! We did it. Now, question is, is the creation going to disappear? I mean, the seat's up here, but the controls are back there, and if I get out of range, does it go and disappear? But I don't know. We're heading towards the tanker. I know that. <laughs> this is incredibly stupid of me to do, but... <laughs> oh, I get a kick at the dumb things in life. Like, this is amazing. What's that trail in front of us? What? What? What is that? That almost looks like another... Am I seeing things? Am I hallucinating in Stormworks? There's clearly something else up there. You know, it's a little smoke trail disappeared. It's like I was seeing a reflection of my... Wait. Wait. Okay, so obviously we don't have the range, but... Where did that thing come from? Wait, what's it doing? Okay, the other one just crashed. Huh? Folks, we only launched one missile off. Where did this one come from? Actually, how close do we make it? Dang, we weren't that far out. Wow, if that tanker was closer, we totally could have made that. Huh. I kind of want to punch in another GPS coordinate. That was awesome. All right, folks, it's the moment of truth. This is going to work. I found another spawn. The tanker's only 3.5 kilometers away, so if we're going to make it, this is going to be about as close as it's going to get. All right, folks, I think we got it this time. So we spawned it in. Let's go and set this as the waypoint. Uh, we got a lot closer. We're 3.5 kilometers out, which I think is going to be hopefully within range of this thing, and we're going to launch. We're going to hit it. It's going to work. All right, so we have a new spawn here. This thing spawns the tanker much closer, so I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like we're going to actually get this today. Uh, let's go and put that up there. All right, wait for it to stop retracting. Folks, we are going to the unknown. We're going to try to nail a tanker. I don't know if this is going to work, but it might be amazing. All right, here we go. Those are on. All right, in the passenger seat. Let's go do this. Come on, baby. Uh, there we go. All right. Oh, no. Oh, she's turning. All right. We're tracking. Tanker's 3.2 kilometers out. I think it was, what, closer to 5? I think last time when we ran out with about 1.7. So if I did my math right, which do not actually <laughs> go off any math that I do, I think we're going to be close to hitting this. Uh, okay, 1.9, 1.8, 1.7, 1.6. Is it going to actually dip down to try to hit it, though? Or what's it going to do here? Uh, uh, oh, it's dipping. Oh, it's dipping. How close is our trajectory, though? Where is it? Oh, I see it. Oh, I see the taker. <gasps> We're going to hit it. We're going to hit the taker. <laughs> oh. That was worth the payoff there. I did not think we would actually pinpoint and hit it. Now, if only there was actual, like, explosions and damage like that, that would have been amazing. But we did it. We were actually able to hit it with the GPS. Man, this thing is awesome. Thank you, Doomsday. Wow. We, uh, hit the tanker with the missile from, like, four or three and a half kilometers that way. 
bet you if people were on this and saw that coming from nowhere, they'd probably freak out. That is amazing. Well, anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Do check out the creations. Link down in the description. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I certainly enjoyed this. This was fun. I uh, definitely want to do that again. I almost want to just go back and do it again one more time. But, yeah, thank you guys for love and support. We will see you guys next time in Stormworks. Stormworks.